Welcome everybody to Extreme Power No Handling Autocross and today we're dealing with the 1991 GMC Cyclone. So yeah, this is a 970 horsepower, 813 pounds feet of torque, 7 litre twin turbocharged V8 engine and the car itself weighs 3,601 pounds. It's got all wheel drive and it can do 0 to 60 in 3.061 seconds, 0 to 106.263 seconds going to a top speed of 225 miles an hour. So yeah, unlike a lot of other cars that we've taken on this series, that are all wheel drive this is a pickup truck so it's not like a saloon car or anything like that that we've taken before so uh, yeah I'm not quite sure how this is going to handle because it is obviously an older car as well than most of the other all wheel drive vehicles that we've taken so it yeah it could have some handling issues or it could well uh, surprise so uh, let's see what it can do this car was already a pretty fairly quick car standard but obviously this is way more power than it had originally it's working more than three times the power so uh, yeah asking a lot from this car Cause problems there. I have to uh, change our tactics for that bit. It's rather bouncy. Fair bit of oversteer there. It's got plenty of acceleration. It's easily one of the worst times that we've had for an all-wheel drive vehicle on this series. One minute point, one minute two seconds point zero two nine. Not all that good. Hopefully we can improve. No idea what the bias is on this vehicle with its four-wheel drive system. Judging by the amount of, you know, overseer that we're having, I'm guessing it's mostly to the rear. Well, that's an improvement, but not by much. Oh, damn it, we've got a look dirty lap. Yeah, this car's pretty uncontrollable at times. And even though it does have decent acceleration, it's just putting that power down out of corners, that's a real issue. It just does not have the traction to uh, deal with all this extra power. Which I guess should be coming on a surprise, but... We've had other old all-wheel drive vehicles from around this period that have uh, been able to manage it, or at least manage it a little bit better. It's also got pretty soft suspension as well, which obviously not going to help. Slow down then for that jump to make it a bit more controllable for us. Much better time there. Oh damn, but we've ruined it with that. 
Oh well. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to uh, manage to find the time between. Time difference between this and the uh, last lap, because obviously it's a dirty lap and it won't register it. Because it's stupid. And, uh, quite frankly, again, like I said before, I don't know why hitting a wall is classed as you know, a dirty time. It's just it's dirty laps you're just really concerned about rewinds or cheating, not slowing yourself down. Oh well, it's not going to be faster anyway, so yeah, there we go. 57.424 seconds, which isn't all that bad, especially considering the kind of car that we're dealing with. So, yeah, 57.424 puts us ahead of the Lancia 37 Stradale, the Mazda RX-7 and the Toyota Supra GT, but it's by far one of the worst uh, all-wheel drive vehicles we've had. Yeah, it's so the only all-wheel drive vehicles it's better than is the Jeep Grand Wagoneer and the Jeep Willis MB and that's it yeah so it's pretty much the slowest uh, properly quick all-wheel drive vehicle that we've had uh, but then again it is a big uh, off-roading uh, truck that yeah really wasn't ever meant for handling I mean it was really meant for going in a straight line really rather quick as proven by this, how uh, good the standard car is in a straight line but Outside of that, it, yeah, really not meant for uh, dealing with either this amount of power or going around corners really rather fast. So, uh, yeah, and it's not like we've not had uh, older all-wheel drive vehicles or even vehicles from around the same time that have uh, done quicker than this. I mean, the Ford Escort RS and the Lancia Delta HF are both from 1992, so they're only a year younger. And even the, uh, where is it? I think we've done an Audi that's pretty much older than this as well. Well, the Super Legacy RS is an uh, older car, and that's quicker than this. And Peugeot 205 is older than this, and that's an all-wheel drive car. And even the Opel Manta, which is a real-wheel drive car, which is older than this, has done better as well. So, yeah, even though it's a fairly decent time, and it's by no means the slowest in general, but it's still no way near as good as a previous all-wheel drive vehicles, which is a shame, because I was hoping that it might have, you know, a chance, just because it's you know, a unique car in this uh, game. All-wheel drive pickups from this time aren't really uh, that common on this game, so I figured maybe this being a little bit on the alternative side might have had a chance, but its size, weight, and just general lack of handling in s even stock form played against it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.